Hi, I'm James from Portana, and in this video I'm going to talk about the new features in version 2.14 of Portana. First I'll talk about the new cloud providers we're supporting for direct provisioning from Portana, as well as our new kube config import feature. Then I'll show you the newly updated environment wizard, the new image update indicators, and improvements to custom templates and webhooks. Then I'll talk about the changes to the team leader role, updates to the password strength requirements, and dependency updates. And of course, I'll tell you how you can upgrade to 2.14. In 2.13, we introduced support for provisioning Kubernetes clusters directly from Portana on Sivo, Linode, and DigitalOcean. In this release, we've expanded that even further to include Amazon EKS, Google GKE, and Azure AKS. We've also refreshed the Cloud Credentials interface as part of this work, as well as updated our documentation with examples of how to retrieve the necessary credentials for these providers. There's also video guides for each of the new providers too. So provisioning a new cluster is all well and good, but what if you've already got one that you want to add to Portana? While you can deploy the agent using our provided instructions, 2.14 also adds the ability for you to import your kube config file directly into Portana and have Portana automatically configure access and deploy the agent for you. This works with both cloud providers and on-premise Kubernetes installations. When you first install Portana, you're presented with the environment wizard, allowing you to add the environments you wish to manage, but after that you'd use our traditional interface to add more. In 2.14 we've improved the environment wizard and brought it in to be used at any point to add new environments. 2.14 adds a new column to the containers and stacks listings, which will let you know whether an image used in that container or stack is up to date or if there's a new version available. This lets you easily tell which containers or stacks you need to update. App templates are a powerful feature for system administrators, letting you set up templated applications for users to easily deploy. In 2.14 we've extended our custom templates to let you easily create tags within your templates that a user can later fill in when deploying the template, allowing for much more customization of the individual deployment. Along the same lines as the custom templates changes, we've also added support for environment variables to be passed over webhooks in 2.14. Using this, you can customize your triggers to provide custom information to Portana that it can use alongside the redeployment. We've spent some time reworking our existing team leader role in 2.14, fixing a few bugs and expanding the capabilities of the role. Team leaders can now add and remove members from teams as well as promote members to co-team leaders. In 2.13, we introduced password strength requirements to Portana, and in this version, we've taken on the feedback that you provided and made those requirements adjustable by administrators. An admin can now set the minimum length required for a password, and users that don't meet that requirement will be asked to update the passwords when they next log in, with the option to defer the change a couple of times before being required to make the change. We've also removed the complexity requirements and just restrict on length. We've updated a number of our third-party dependencies in this release, including Docker, Docker Compose, Helm, and kubectl. One specific thing to note is that this adds Docker Compose version 2 support to Portana. These are the big features and changes in 2.14, but there's also a lot more other changes and fixes in this release. Have a look at our release notes for the full list of changes. If you're doing a fresh install of Portana on your environment, Business Edition users can take a look at our install guide at install.portana.io. This will guide you through what you need to run Portana and show you how to install it. For our community edition, you can use our documentation at docs.portana.io. Upgrade guides for both editions are also available in our documentation, as well as instructions for upgrading from CE to BE. Thanks for watching. I hope I've been able to show you some of the new features and updates in Portana 2.14. If you do have any questions, need help, or would like any more information on anything I've talked about here, please check out our documentation, join our community support channels, or get in touch with us directly.